Hey, it's Big Wet. I'm in the middle of making some really hefty parts for uh, this next video. And this is the first time I've really used a calculator to see what the max material removal rate I can get out of these tools. So we're just like, boom, making parts as fast as we can. And uh, of course, I push it, and I was playing with a piece of raw stock and found out, okay, I can get about 80% of what the calculation says. But then as soon as I started actually cutting on the part, I wasn't able to grip the part well enough in the vise, and it, and it just starts lifting it out of the vise, even though I had done all those calculations to make sure that the tool and the machine were running at their capability, I just missed out on the fact that, yeah, there's a whole other component to this. How well can you hold the part? And it forces you to back everything off. So it just struck me that even though I've been doing machining so much and I've done so much engineering, that there's still little things like that to learn that every machinist already knows that. They've experienced it, uh, experienced it daily in their job. And here I am coming along and like, yeah, I can machine. And then something like that just hits you upside the face and it's like, no, you need to account for this and you need to account for that. And it just comes back to that better understanding of all learning and doing. Uh, until you get in here, get into the trenches and are working on this stuff, there are just things that you're not going to learn. So I was just struck by that and wanted to share in the middle of this project and give you some a little bit of behind the scenes. You know, I got my light here and my camera on time lapse recording this so I can include it in the video. Uh, just wanted to share that. Thanks everybody for watching the channel and can't wait to share this next video. Ciao.